Yo, what's going on everybody? Electric Stars here, and I'm back with another video, and this is an episode breakdown of The Cuphead Show, Episode 2, Baby Bottle. Spoiler warnings if you guys don't want to know what exactly happened at the end of the episode, but if you guys already have seen the episode, then, yeah, then you guys should be okay. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, Episode 2 starts off with El Elder Kettle going off to the mustache wax, but as soon as he leaves, uh, he gave out two rules to the boys saying that they should not touch the radio and no fighting. Uh, and then when that happened, they heard a knock on the door. And then w when they heard the knocking, they stepped outside and said, back so soon, dearest cattle. It, but unfortunately, it wasn't elder cattle. Somehow, what when they all thought Elder Kettle was back home, they actually got they um they somehow approached the baby bottle and somehow this baby bottle hasn't got an owner yet. I will talk about that at the end of the video. But as soon as they brought them in, uh, well, as soon as they brought the baby in, uh. The baby was fine with Mugman, but not with Cuphead. And then, as soon as the baby bottle bit off, uh, well, as soon as the baby bottle bit Cuphead's finger off, Cuphead, Cuphead says that um, they, they should not keep the baby, they should get rid of it. But when that happened, uh, the baby bottle starts messing around the house, broke the fishbowl, and then... When that happened, Mugman came to the living room and saw what happened. And Mugman thought it was Cuphead that did it, but it wasn't. So when they were looking for the baby, they thought the baby was outside. But it's not outside. It was inside this whole time. And when they, when they break in the house while, while the baby was playing the radio, Mugman grabbed... The baby, and then the baby said this with a disapproving voice. Mama. And then when that happened, the baby somehow felt normal, for now at least. And then Cuphead said that, I, I don't like how the baby is acting in front of us. And then when that happened, Mugman brought his teddy bear to the baby bottle. And then when that happened, the baby bottle somehow... Twist the twi twist the teddy bear's head off, and then when that happened, Mugman got so upset, and then he was like, "I'm gonna kill that thing!" And then Cuphead was like, "No, let's not kill it." And then Mugman says, "That is not a baby. That thing is evil." And so that means that Mugman agrees with what Cuphead is saying. But then when the lights went all out or the background went dark. The baby starts to teleport from place to place, destroying things through the radio. And then when that happened, Cuphead and Mugman caught it before it was about to break. But when that happened, the baby smashed it. And then when that happened, they, they were all freaked out in terror. And then the baby threw the dresser at Cuphead and Mugman. And then... Threw the chair at them. And then when that happened. Elder Kettle came back from the mustache wax. And then he saw what the bo Well he, he then thought. Wh what happened to the house. And he thought it was the boys that did it. But no. When that happened. He was fine. Until he saw his radio. Broken in pieces. Yeah. The, the radio is broken. All because of the baby. And then when that... And then when he saw the radio, he he blamed the boys, but the boys told Elder Carroll that it was actually the baby. When Elder Carroll picked up the baby, the baby ripped off his mustache, and Elder Carroll screamed in terror, and then he says, Bad baby. And then again, the baby gave out that disapproving tone of, in front of him saying mama and then they got into a little fight the boys dragged them to the kitchen they all got geared up 
to defend themselves from the baby, you know how people do it when they're defenseless. Uh, they all thought the baby were, were going to attack them, but no, the baby went back to sleep in its little bed. So when, when they all saw the baby right in front of them sleeping, they decided to take the baby someplace else, not, not from a city or anywhere, but somewhere, somewhere in the forest. And I don't even know who this is, but it's a woman, I can tell. I'm not really sure who this is, but if you guys know who this, who this woman is, leave your thoughts in the comments below. But aside from that, the baby then woke up as soon as... The baby saw the woman, and as the boys were hiding and saw the woman taking the baby inside, they all gave each other a handshake. And Elder Caldwell is putting on a huge bandage on his, well, mustache because the baby tore it, right? Now, I really thought um, the baby was working with the devil, but somehow... Somehow the baby isn't working with the devil. But yeah, that's all for episode 2. And uh, sorry if if I didn't make the video Thursday or Friday last week. I got carried away with the Batman movie. But aside from that, what do you guys think about that episode? Do you really, do you guys really love that episode? Or do you really thought it would have been something else? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!